What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy. We back here with another reaction. Sorry, had to put my phone up and such. But as you see in the background, you see this nigga? We here with Knox Hill, Clout Cobain, Benzino disc, Eminem reactor response. So, if you didn't realize, so it's basically like this. With this whole thing between the Eminem versus Benzino beef and such. And look, a lot of speculation and let's be honest. It's all 100% real. With the whole thing with Benzino with his diss, with his second diss track to Eminem rap Elvis. Now, let's be honest. Ain't nobody who knows hip ain't nobody who knows basically like this and what I'm trying to say is ain't nobody gonna believe that with the way how that diss track that Benzino did to Eminem on Rap Elvis as much as it was even we never said it wasn't trash right we not saying it wasn't trash but the fact that it was coming from Benzino of all people Come on now. Do y'all do we really think that Benzino is that good of a rapper? Like, let's be honest. Come the fuck on. So basically, and also what recently happened was because Benzino didn't like what somebody said, it was another reactor on the re from the reactor community named Cliff Beats. Benzino literally did like a copyright strike or so on his channel for or copyright claim or what basically like that on his channel especially for this song especially for rap elvis just because he didn't like what he was saying and chuck and nine times out of ten that be a problem most of the times especially when people like a benzino who don't like to hear criticism and such Cause it, like we like I said, we wasn't even saying the thing was trash. So I think so with Knox Hill, he said, you know what? Fuck it. Let's see. I'ma drop. Let's see. I'ma drop a song for De Benzino's ass and see what this is about. Show him how you can really destroy somebody. But so we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Let me put the hilly up for this one. Yeah. Let's go, Knox Hill. Reactors. <laughs> you feel crazy. See me, I'm a GoPro. Zeno got that coke flow. Leeching for a promo. You higher, but you so low. Oh, mm. no, about to blow. Only lines you making is the ones that's going up your nose. Whoa, I know that you. Mm. Yeah, basically that opening, but why you have to go after reactors? Like, it's so crazy that. When it comes to rappers about it's basically like with a cert one of the reactors, I think it was who? I think it was Knox Hill or so, somebody or so, where they're saying about how with with reactors, we're in a way like hip hop news. We're like trying to give you we're like basically putting people who never even heard of you or never giving your music a chance, putting them out there for you for my reactions of how we like if we like it or we don't like it whether we're a big channel whether we're a big reaction channel or a small one like mine that at the end of the day at least we're trying to give out people out there and who well if they subscribe to our channel or not some new music they would want to listen to and so so the fact that he would copyright strike somebody's channel just because they didn't like how they Heard their music and like I said, I know I'm gonna keep repeating it over in this video, but even me when I even though I didn't react to rap Elvis, I listened to it by myself and it was good. It was some that was some good. It's just that it was too good. And the fact that it was coming from Benzino, suspicious as hell. But let's get in this. Mm. Mm. And see me, I'm a GoPro. The GoPro, like a GoPro camera and such. Mmm. So 
So he gonna be, and since oh, he's a reactor, he gonna be really flipping on some reactor, like in a way, some like reactor slash vlog type vibe. So let's go. Oh no, mm. about to blow. Only lines you're making is the ones that's going up your nose. Whoa, I know that you're faking mm. and you struggle for them O's. Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short. I know I'm white, come get a snort. Mm. Shit, I could write you a retort, but you would bite it, then record. Mm. I know you like to be enforced. I ain't caring what you share. <laughs> and hold on, what he said about that lines? Hold on. For them O's, keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short. I know I'm white, come get a snort. Shit, I could write you a retort, but you would bite it, then record. I know you like to be in force. I ain't caring what you sharing in your little white couple whore. Now, if I may, Dave, oops, I mean Ray, I got the sauce, I mean the sauce. Come read this, I got an issue, dick. How many mics? Five mics recorded for your dish. If you was falling off, a yeah, and if you remember back in the day where if you was a rapper and you got like three out of five mics. They used to do this thing back in hip hop where if you got three out of five mics, you were considered a fire rapper. Or was it was it it was either three or four out of five mics and you consider a great rapper? Jubica and Benzino back in the day always gave M like three out of five mics. But like I said, did we ever consider Benzino as like a real hip hop head? No. Cause ain't nobody took it it's just like this. Nobody took him serious back then, and they still ain't taking him serious today. Even if we did like them two diss tracks he did at Eminem, still, especially with, with rap helpers, still, nobody wasn't really taking him serious. And plus, all all I gotta say is, when M starts, when anyhow, when M goes to shoot back at Benzino, I guarantee you he finna destroy the hell out of this nigga. Hold on, let me make sure I'm still screen recording. Yeah. And hey, shout out to Noxil. Hopefully, hopefully he doesn't, well I know for a fact he ain't gonna do a Benzino and try to like copyright claim my video or anybody else who's reacting to it because if well, no, I, let me not say that about Knoxville, because I ain't never going to want to put him in the same room as Benzino. I mean, Ray, I got the sauce, I mean the sauce, come read this, I got an issue, dick, how many mics, mm, five I got mics, the sauce, for your dish, if you was falling off a cliff, so you tried to cancel him, shit. Mm. Dead out, do the math then, check out, it's a half ten, tell me what you have mm. then, you were just a has-been, living in the past, mm. man. Sam Darnold seeing mm. ghosts, you gon' dead who? I need confessions in the booth, it's mm. funny what that debt do, you getting head before you mm. blow, dog. that's a red roof, make your bed go you can't even, hold up, whoa, 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 what you said, nigga, hold the hell up. In the past, man. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts, you gon' dead who? I need confessions mm. in the booth, it's mm. funny what that debt do. You get head do. before you blow, dog. that's a red roof. You get in the head before you blow, dog. that's a red roof. roof. Make your bed, go get a room, but one bed for two dudes. Mm. And that whole thing. And look, honest to, honest to God, right? Even though I've never, we nobody has ever paid attention to Benzino, but just saying the fact that if that is true, because like I said, nobody pays attention to what this nigga even says. The only reason why is because of Cole Ray and his. And point is, if that is true, and there's actually video proof of that, I don't know. I'm just speculating. But if that is true, nigga, and also. Where I see like videos about how this nigga was with trends and such, and when I heard Cash's diss towards this nigga, Jesus Christ, it's basically like this. All them with Eminem when he fires back, the all of the data, all of the stuff that Benzino's been on the internet for years and shit, shit, and certain ones that are recent, M is gonna. Forget even cook this nigga. He gon' burn this nigga to a crisp with a major one. Mm -hmm. Quit the snoring mm -hmm. while you snooze. I know you've been used to it. Mm. You keep whoring out for views. You hate M cause of color. You mm. distorted out the truth. Do you hate him cause he's different mm. or he's a quarter of you? These mm. And look, I've said this multiple times that, and look, I know, it's basically like this. I know I'm not much like this big 
I know most people would say like I'm a hip hop head or whatnot. Not to say I'm a hip hop head or anything. But it's basically like this. This is how I look at it. From a young person. From like a young person of myself. Because you can say I'm part of the young generation and whatnot. Of listeners who listen to music and such. It's basically like this. I get it that. For the better part of many, for many, many years, people have always known that black people created hip hop and such, and it was part of the black culture. And, but it's basically like this. At this, and I don't care, this is my opinion, and if you don't like it, hey, it is what it is, but if you do, glad you support my, re glad you support my opinion on it. But it's like this. At the end of the day, Yes, it black people started it in such and help. There's more and more black artists out there who wants to add something new to hip hop every single time and such, right? Or want to keep doing the same old stuff, but it is what it is. But all I'm saying is, at the end of the freaking day, it don't matter if you're black, it don't matter if you're white, it don't matter if you're Spanish, it don't matter if you Haitian, whatever, whatever your skin color is, whatever ethnicity you are. When it comes, if you got the skill, if you got the talent, if you got the bars, nigga, that's all it takes. Well, well I think that would still be current today, but all I'm saying is those three things I just listed off, the skill, the talent, the, hell, the charisma, and the bars that and the song making ability <laughs> them five things if you have all those five things then brother you are good and hell with just being black white or either have any her heritage and such in you trust me you will gain whole new audience with you and such so that's how I look at it as a person of as a young as a young listener and such that's how I look at it. Quit the snoring while you snooze. I know you've been used to it, so keep pouring out for views. You hate M because of color. You distorted out the truth. Do you hate him because he's different? Or he's a quarter of you. Dice lo que quiere, pero todo es mentira. Robando la cotora. Tú no eres un boricua. If you want it, I'm the one. Benzino. And this is crazy. Ain't that such a switch of what I was just talking about? I did not know this man no freaking this just even sh this just even proves my thing what I just said earlier right about how even if you have the, whether you have, if once you have the skill the talent and such but also with an added heritage bonus and such man just speaking Spanish and such now Naxil if you do see this video cuz I'm gonna tag you in this the fact that you even went into that Spanish flow right there and that Spanish lingo that just proves my point. Even if, I don't know if it was Spanish, but I'm gonna listen again. But if that it was, you just keep you just prove my point right dead on. Yeah, that's the Spanish start. <laughs> Shackles out the Stevie is good night. Shackles out the cliff and doing right. Shout to AR got the sight. You were wrong, but copyright. Now that Pegasus in flight. You want to Pegasus on these heights, but you flawed. You could get nicked by these reactors for the lines. You already got no life. Put those millies on your mind. You sell ticks, but drop no dimes. Seeing green, but. And he just shouted out few reactors like Cliff Beats and such. The person who got the strike from Benzino. And then Stevie Knight and such. Hey. It's basically like this. And I ever saw like, and I think it was Natsil who said it where if he's coming for one person, he might come for all of the react reactors and such. Whether you're big and whether you're small. Because who knows? The fact that if you, if he were that pet, if he was that much of a bitch to want to go after a small channel, whether it's like mine, whether, whether I have just 1k plus more subscribers or even 10k. If he if he's that much of a bitch to go after somebody who got at least 1k of 10k of subscribers or even 1k of subscribers that just shows you that this nigga really he going to talk about it's hip hop when he going to do something like that 
then he is really not for it. Hey, it's basically like this. Stevie Nett has said it the best in his like in his like thumbnails and what he says on his videos. Benzino is literally like the freaking clown of hip hop. <laughs> Hey, shout to AR, got the sight. You were wrong, but copyright. Now that Pegasus in flight, you mm. were the Pegasus on these heights, but you flawed. You could get nicked by these reactors for the lines. You already got no life, but those millies on your yes. mind. You sell ticks, but drop no dimes. See mm. them green, but got no shine. I know mm. who's lurking out of sight. It must really hurt you that the best mm. Boston rap is white. Mm. <laughs> that was just a warm up. Damn. Damn. Nah. Damn. <laughs> this picture right here is crazy. Beware the clout chipmunk. That's insane. Almost got me choking. When <coughs> nah. Man, really does look like a freaking chipmunk with them. Nah, I'm done. And he said this is just a warm up. You know it's Crazy. bad when you get dogged on by a YouTube rapper, bro. That's enough. Facts. See, it would have been fine if you didn't try to censor us. Good luck striking mm. this one though with no pen. Facts, and it ain't even. Hmm. Good luck, try to censor this. I, d I dare him try to censor that one. I double dog dare him to even try to do that. Nah, I, d I dare him to even try to get my video. <laughs> but nah, he straight up. Shout out to Knox Hill, he straight up. Cook that nigga. <laughs> But well, hey man, y'all let me know if y'all agree with what I was saying during the during this reaction, man. Cause I feel like I was in I'm pretty like I'm pretty much right in my in my view and such. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Otherwise, otherwise, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up, and hey, all I'ma say is if this nigga Benzino really is that petty and that butt hurt. That he's gonna freaking copyright strike Knox Hill or any other reactors and such, big or small, like my channel. He's a straight up clown. But like I said, it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.